We need to fix this situation now. I don't know. Were you just drinking my water? <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Different background today. Uh, we're seeing how we feel about it. I rearranged my room. This is not what this video is about. Um, I was thinking about filming it, but I was doing it like two hours before I had to go to work one day. I was just feeling this like inspiration to just literally take everything and just move it around. So my bed is by my window now, which I love because I feel like I wake up and I can just like look outside and like look at the pool and just, I have this gorgeous big tree behind me and I don't know, I can see owls in it sometimes and birds and stuff like that. So I don't know, I just love it. Um, But anyways, today we are doing a big closet clean out. I asked you guys on Instagram what video you wanted to see next. Honestly, every option that I put up on there, somebody wanted to see uh, and they were all pretty tied with how many people wanted to see what. So I decided I'm gonna do a closet clean out first because I recently rearranged my room. I feel like I need to clean the rest of my space and get it all together. Also peep the blue painters tape in my window. I literally have to keep it there because my screen was broken. And anytime I wanted to open up my window, wasps will get in here. Anyways, so we are going to take everything out of my everyday wear closet side. And then my news reporter wardrobe, that is gonna be cleaned out too. There's just so much stuff that I don't wear and I continue to buy new clothes. Like I just bought this shirt. It's cute, right? <laughs> I just bought this shirt and I'm like, okay, Rebecca, if you wanna buy new things, you need to donate the rest of your stuff. I already have three trash bags full of donations, clothes, homeware, accessories, just like things that I don't want or wear or need anymore. And it's just been sitting in my living room and I'm like, okay, you need to take it to donations. But I know that there's other stuff in my closet that also needs to go. I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about this. Okay, if it looks like I'm wearing pajamas in this video, I kind of am, don't judge me. Welcome to my closet closet, two closets. I don't know. This is my closet situation. I have one side here, another side here. Let me just open it up and show you the absolute chaos behind these doors. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, uh, this side is for my everyday clothes. This side is my news reporter wardrobe and just some other stuff. Literally, you can see Squishmallows up here. You can see I have like a scarf. I have my boyfriend's old pair of boots, but yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of very chaotic. You can't even see the ground yet. I'll have to show you. Um, but my plan of attack with this is to start with my everyday clothes because I know that there's more in there that I want to clean out and then I'm going to touch this side. And what I usually do is I do at least three sweep throughs. So first of all, I go through and I decide, okay, what am I just not gonna wear anymore? And then I take that off the hanger. Then I go through again and I'm like, okay, how many times am I gonna wear these items? take them out. And then finally, I convince myself to get rid of at least a few more pieces and then we're good to go. First, we are going to start with this side. All right, welcome. First, we're going to start with going through the hung up clothes and then we are going to go through this stuff up here. This is where I keep my t-shirts. The piles are just so messy. So yeah, we're going to start cleaning. This is a big... Oh wait, I thought this was Victoria's Secret. This is Nike. Okay, but just clear example of like, I don't know when the last time I wore this was and somebody else could probably really appreciate a super nice Nike zip up sweatshirt. I'm gonna force myself to get rid of this even though I, do I want this? Okay, but how many times have I worn this? We're gonna get rid of it. Here is all the clothes that I got rid of just from making one sweep of my closet. I want to say there's probably at least 15 pieces here. So we are going to go through it one more time. I 
literally wore this as a going out shirt in college. <laughs> Wore this once, I've owned it for like two years. Okay, just cleaned out some stuff for the top part. I think we are looking so much better so far. Um, I try to disperse the clothes because my clothing rack is bending a little bit, but that's how we're looking so far. I need to tackle the top part and then this stuff down here eventually. Don't know when we're gonna get to it. Oh my God, I didn't know that's where I kept my Michael Kors purse. <laughs> I have not used that in like so long, to be honest. Yeah, we need to <sighs> tackle that. Um, but I'm debating on just doing the clothes on this side next. I think we're gonna do that. But here is what I've accrued. Look at all that. That is enough for like a whole nother trash bag. I am gonna have so many donations. It is insane. Let me show you the closet situation on the other side. I know it looks like absolutely chaotic, but I have to keep my shoes in these bags because he eats them. <laughs> And he's literally chewed holes through these bags. Oh my God, they've gotten bigger. Uh, he makes me so mad. Okay, well, the shoe situation we're currently working through, I don't know, literally every single one of my shoes, minus my Air Forces and like my Converse have like, look at chew marks. And I just bought these because he chewed through another pair of sneakers. So if anybody knows how to get their cats to stop doing that without me needing to spray all of these shoes, somebody let me know. But yeah, this is how we have it. So over here we do like jackets and stuff and then we do shirts and then we have the dresses all the way up until the pants and the skirts. And I don't really wear skirts that much. Look at how many hangers I have over here. Okay, so we need to fix this situation. Like with my other closet, we are just gonna go through, do a sweep of this and see how we feel about certain pieces. And then we're gonna go through it at least a second or a third time. I don't even know if this still fits me anymore. Also, I've had this coat since like high school. I need fall coat recommendations because I feel like I don't know like what's in style anymore. Yeah, like do we do we keep this? I'm getting rid of it. one of the many pink shirts that I don't reach for and I think it's because there's a smaller pattern and a lot of shirts with larger patterns look better on TV. All right, now we're moving on to the dresses, which is what I wear pretty much every day in the summertime here. So these I usually don't get rid of. It's hard for me to get rid of, um, but we're gonna see if there's any in here that I just don't care about anymore. Like, look how beautiful the rainbow that I have. Guys, look at how big this pile is getting. Oh my gosh. Like, I cannot believe how many clothes that I own. Camera is working again. Well, I think so. <laughs> Vlog camera was not working. Uh, bought a new charger for it because I couldn't find my old one. Plugged it in, it wasn't charging. And I was like, what the heck? So then I bought a battery charger that came with two new batteries. Charged those up, pop one in and it worked. Uh, it's a few days later. I need to tackle the top part, the really top part 
of my closets. Not looking forward to it because there's a lot of junk up there. It's stuff that I just don't know what to do with, but I just want to make it look better. Also, my Squishmallows, I have no idea what to do with. I collect them, but visually on my bed, seeing as many as I have on my bed makes me feel like I have so many things in my room. It makes me feel claustrophobic. So I put some of them in my closet. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to get started. <laughs> Hello. He sees my little wristlet to my camera and he wants to attack it. Not for you. Uh, top shelf tour. We got like my boyfriend's boots. We have old graduation stuff, boxes, this winter scarf that's massive, another box. And then if you come on this side, I didn't even tackle this stuff yet. I have so many jeans that need to be organized. I have like dance bags. I have grocery bags, gym bag, I don't even work out, um, random stuff that I bought that's just sitting here, and my Squishmallows. So we need to fix this situation now. So I cleaned out a lot of it. I think what I'm gonna do is put some hats next to my jeans. I did color coordinate slash like beamly coordinated my jeans. So we have mom jeans in one pile, skinny slash ripped jeans in another pile, black and white jeans, and then like jeans with patterns on them. So I feel pretty good about that. It's usually pretty hard to tell what jeans are what because I have so many pairs. So I pull them out and then I like leave it messy when I wanna like throw them back up there. So I'm trying to be a little bit more organized about that, but I think I'm gonna tackle this top shelf and then we're gonna move on to the next one. like a cheap picture frame I think I'm just gonna throw it out and then this box is nice because it's magnetic and it held letters for my friends I already read all the letters and I don't know if I have a need for this box so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it I also have this picture frame it's been sitting in my closet I haven't done anything with it yet I don't know I really should and this it's the self-watering grow kit I think I need to buy a plant for it which is why I've yet to do it because I've yet to buy a plant but I got this for Christmas a while ago and I should do something with this too all right, we're hopping up on a spinny chair this time. I don't trust myself. Oh God, getting down. <laughs> okay. Why are you staring at me? Okay, uh, so here is the current situation. Just a whole bunch of stuff on the floor and on my bed. I don't even know where I'm gonna put all this stuff. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Sorry, weird angles. I'm on the floor. <laughs> but I think first we are going to start with the obvious things that I want to keep. Like, my boyfriend wants me to keep his boots and give it back to him. So we're going to put those in the big box. No. Were you just drinking my water? There's like some bags that I know can be put away. And then I think I'm going to put some bags actually back at the top of my closet. I just wanted to see what was up there and just make it look a little bit better. Okay. We are going to bring it back to work because <laughs> I think he's coming back.
this took me a little bit, uh, but I'm finally glad that I did go through my closet and donate a bunch of my stuff. This is your encouragement to go through your closet. I'm sure you have clothes that you just don't wear anymore. Uh, I'm somebody who holds on to stuff and is like, okay, but maybe I'm gonna wear this at some point. But a year goes by and I don't wear it. And I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Somebody else out there could actually be using this and appreciating this and it could be their new favorite item. And here it is just like sitting in my wardrobe. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more of my content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm trying to get back into TikTok. I used to be really good about it. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next. Also, really quickly, my thrifting video got like more more than a thousand views in seven days. That is awesome. I literally was like, oh my God. I don't know. I'm just like doing this for fun, like silly little fun. And people are actually like enjoying my stuff. So anyways, thanks so much guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.